HubSpot is a great tool for anybody running paid media campaigns because it allows you to track where your leads and contacts are coming from and how they move through the buyer funnel to become customers. There are also some direct integrations that HubSpot has with some of the major advertising platforms. We've put together a video on how you can link your LinkedIn and HubSpot accounts, and you can check that out right here. We've also put together a video on how you can link your HubSpot and Facebook ad accounts, and you can check out that video right here. Today, we're going to close out what I believe is the last of the major ad platforms, and that's Google Ads. So today we're going to run through how to sync up your HubSpot and Google Ads account and talk about the benefits of doing so. As we do with the majority of the videos that we have on this channel, we try and do as much as we can in our Paid Media Pros placeholder accounts. That way we don't have to blur out a ton of client confidential information. And I'll walk you through the initial stages in this account. But later on, there's a couple things that we can only really do in a client account. So we'll hop into a client's HubSpot account here in just a little bit. The first thing we need to do is connect our Google Ads and HubSpot accounts. And you can do this from either end of that relationship, either from the HubSpot interface or from the Google Ads interface. Typically for those types of things, I don't have a preference. But in this instance, I have a very heavy preference to use the HubSpot interface. And I'll walk you through the Google Ads portion to show you why I prefer HubSpot. It'll probably be fairly obvious. So to link accounts in Google Ads, we need to go up to Tools and Settings and then come down here and click on Linked Accounts. Here you can see all of the different accounts and products that Google will connect to, whether it's Google Analytics, YouTube, all this good stuff. But we want to run down here to these other popular products to find HubSpot. You can see it right here, fourth from the top, and I'll click on Details. And here it says that we need to link HubSpot via Zapier, which is a third-party service that can help you create and manage data integrations between the two platforms. It also says that since Zapier is a third-party platform, it might charge you a fee for the services that they provide. And in this instance, I didn't check to see if the HubSpot to Google Ads Zap costs money, but my guess is it does. Now don't let that deter you because you don't actually have to use Zapier to integrate these two platforms. And this is why I prefer the HubSpot side of this account connection. So I'm going to click cancel here, and then I'm going to head into our Paid Media Pros HubSpot account. I'm on the main dashboard here, and you can see that HubSpot just really wants us to get started with stuff, and that's because we don't really use it all that much. But to link it to our Google Ads account, we're going to come up here to the gear icon, which is going to be the account settings. The next step is going to be to find the area where you will sync ad accounts, which is going to be over here to the left, all the way down at the bottom under marketing, and then we're going to click ads. And here you can see the ad accounts at a high level. We still have LinkedIn linked to Joe's placeholder LinkedIn account. And if you watch the video where we link HubSpot to Facebook, you'll notice that I've already removed it because we're in this free account and I can only have two accounts. So I took it off for this video. But to connect Google Ads, we just need to come over here and click Connect Account. As you can see, we've connected one out of the two free accounts. So I'll come over here and click Google Ads. It will then go through a Google sign-in process, which makes everything just that much easier. So I'll just click on our account. And then we need to allow HubSpot to access our Google Ads account, even though they call it AdWords. We'll just click Allow. Next, we need to find our ad account within our MCC. So I'm sorry a lot of this is blurred out, but before I navigate to our account, one thing I do want to mention is up here, it says newly connected accounts may be eligible for $500 in ad credits. So if you have a newly linked account and you're interested in getting 500 free dollars, doesn't hurt to follow this link and see what terms and conditions apply for you to be able to get that. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to navigate to our account now. I'll just click our account in the drop down. You'll notice that HubSpot automatically turned on the auto tracking, which basically just means that it's going to apply its own HS tags to the end of the URL, similar to UTMs. And it will actually be in addition to all of the UTM parameters that you have on your ads or any additional parameters. These are going to be additive. They're not going to overwrite anything, but I highly encourage you to have them because it does help track things a little bit better in HubSpot. And now we just need to click connect. And just like that, super simple to get all of the ad accounts linked together. It's already synced, auto tracking is on, and we're able to do everything that we need to from the HubSpot side or Google Ads side to find the accounts. There are two additional benefits that you can get out of linking your Google Ads and HubSpot accounts. And the first is going to be lead syncing. 
So if I come up into this tab right here, you can see that you can automatically sync your leads from lead generation ads to your HubSpot CRM. So to do that, we just need to click connect. Now we get to choose the account that we want that to happen from. We have LinkedIn active in the account, so it's also an option. But for this video, I'm gonna choose Google Ads. Now we just need to confirm we're using the Paid Media Pro's Google Ads account. Pretty simple. And then click Save. And it's done. Super simple. Now anytime somebody fills out one of the lead form ad extensions in our Google Ads account, that information will automatically find its way into our HubSpot contacts. You can see here that there is a setting that will allow submissions from lead ads without email addresses to create contacts. Depending on what information you want from your users, this might be something good to turn on, but if an email address is considered necessary to classify somebody as a lead, I would suggest you turn that setting off. You can also see down below that we have the account name. You can disconnect pretty quickly if you want to, but there's also the form listed that is already in the account. And this number is dynamic based on however many forms you already have in your account. So right now we only have one form. If I click on this, it'll open it up. And this was the form that Joe created during the Google Ads lead form ad extension video, which you can check out at the top of your screen right now if you want to watch that. And you can see the schedule and appointment, all that stuff. But then you'll also see there is a previous and next down here. So if we had multiple different forms, we could connect multiple different forms and make sure that we track them appropriately. But this is also a bit of a PSA for naming your forms in such a way that makes sense out of context. Because if you didn't name it as schedule and appointment, if it was just lead form one or lead lead form two, you wouldn't know the difference. So make sure that you are naming your forms appropriately so that when you're in HubSpot or if somebody who's not added to your Google Ads account is in HubSpot, they're still able to figure out what that form does and who it's trying to attract. Okay, enough of that. The last benefit I wanna cover in this video is syncing audiences from HubSpot into your Google Ads account. And to do this, I'm going to go into an account that actually pays for the service because otherwise you don't have access to it. And tell you what, I'll even show you what it looks like when HubSpot tells you that you don't have access. So to create an audience, we need to come up to marketing and click on ads. Next step is going to be to create an audience. And here you'll see that the only options we have available are from website visitors or a contact list, but the contact list is locked. So basically the only thing we can do is create a list of users who have visited the website based on pixel activity. And if that sounds redundant, that's because it is. Odds are you've probably already put your LinkedIn, Google ads, and Facebook pixels on your website, and you've created audiences directly from that platform. So the bigger benefit is being able to use your contact lists in HubSpot. So I would just click on this. And now it's telling me that I have to pay for the service. So that's what it looks like when you don't pay for it. Now let's finally hop into that client account and I'll show you what it looks like when you do. In this account, I'm gonna take the exact same steps I took in our placeholder account. I'm gonna head up to marketing and click on ads. Now I'm going to try again to create an audience. Come over here and click that button. And now you can see there are a lot more options available and they're not blurred out. So again, website visitors is a little redundant, but you can use a contact list, which is going to basically be the same as a customer retargeting list in Google ads. So I'm gonna click on this and then we get to select the list of contacts that we want to send to the Google ads account. So I would just choose from the dropdown. I'm sorry, most of these are blurred out, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one. And then you'll need to check the box that says this contact list was not purchased, rented, appended, or provided by a third party. This goes into all the data privacy stuff. If you don't check this box, you're not going to be able to upload your audience. As you can see, this is a small contact list, so that's just something to keep in mind, but this is just an example. And then down below, you'll be able to see the number of contacts that will be sent to the ad network. Some of these folks have opted out of marketing, so they're not included in the list. So this is something that I find really beneficial from HubSpot, is if somebody who has opted out of marketing, they will by default be excluded from your customer uploads, which I think is a good thing. Next, you just need to choose which ad account you want to upload this to. So if you click on this drop down, you'll see the two accounts that this customer account or that this client account is linked to. In this instance, I would just check the box next to Google Ads, but I'm not going to do that because I don't actually want to upload this list right now, but that would be the next step. I could then give the audience a name, which will only be reflected in Google Ads. So just remember that this is going to be the Google Ads name. You're not overwriting anything in the HubSpot account. Naming convention, PSA, make sure that you're naming something so that when you go to find it later, you'll know what it means. And then the last piece, you would just click create audience and then it will automatically show up in your Google Ads account. Again, 
I don't actually want to create this audience today because we don't need it. So I'm just going to click cancel. As you can see, the linking process from HubSpot to Google ads is very simple. It's just as easy to get all of your lead forms populated super quickly. And then creating an audience is also very easy as long as you already have the contact list created that you'd want to import to the Google Ads account. Maybe that audience is made up of customers and you want to use them as an exclusion audience or you want to use them to create a similar audience off of or maybe it's just people who are currently in the pipeline as a lead and you're trying to remarket them to come back and take a secondary action so you can move them on to MQL or SQL or some other stage down the funnel. No matter your reason, this free integration makes it a no brainer to make sure that these two platforms are linked so you can get the most out of your campaigns. Whether it's for this Google Ads integration, the LinkedIn or Facebook integration with HubSpot, or quite frankly, any of the other platforms, if you have any questions or any feedback for us, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.